Finesse gang, what's good? Welcome back. First day back from Lost Lands. I'm the Festival Finesse If you guys didn't know, I would start the video off with a year, but I lost my voice doing them all weekend at Lost Lands. Finesse gang, can I get a year? Thank you. So why are we here today? First day back from Lost Lands. I'm giving you guys an announcement, an update, a story, and a life lesson. Some, you know, just a tip, just, you know, creating awareness. On the last day of Lost Lands, I woke up, I went to my car to get ready for the day, and I wanted to clear my GoPro onto my computer so I could dump all the memory, have it all its footage, just clean memory cards, and everything backed up onto the hard drive, like I did for the first day, the day before. I had all the day one footage on my computer, on my hard drive, cool. On day three, I went to put the day two footage on my computer, and I was looking for my computer in my car, I couldn't find my backpack. So I'm like, oh, I probably just misplaced it. Go to my tent, it's not there go to my friend's campsite it's not there now i'm searching around the campsite like yo where's my bag like who, who took my bag where did i put it and then i start looking for my going through my car and i realized that my camera bag like my dslr camera this is my old one but my camera like this that i use to record vlogs like this right now i'm using the gopro is gone the whole bag is gone so now i'm like two backpacks are missing of mine one i didn't even use this camera at all so that was, I didn't even touch that, so that was gone. My bag with my laptop was right in the front seat, and it's, it's gone. You know, someone took my bag, someone robbed me, someone thought they could pull a fast one and finesse me and sell my shit. And, you know, honestly, you guys robbed the wrong person, and I just, like, this is, this is what makes me mad, ready? I went through all this trouble, you know, I bought myself a new hard drive, I made sure I had new batteries to make sure that I wouldn't miss any of anything. I had hella batteries, hella memory. I was ready to catch every moment. And I now have lost the pre-party and day one footage because someone wanted to, I don't even know why. I really, this is what, it just makes me so mad. Lost Lands was the last place I would think to have to worry about, uh, about something that's happening. Like, especially me of all people. Like I've been preparing and getting you guys ready, trying to make you guys have a better experience. And now mine got fucked, basically. I spent all of day, th not all of day three, but I spent three hours of day three just sleeping because I was just so upset. I was like, I didn't want to go. Like, I just, but thankfully, I went to Cookie Monster back to back fun case and that made everything okay. Let's go! Honestly, that set changed my whole entire day and made me forget about everything that happened. It really just kept a positive mindset for me. And, you know, what, what can I do? You know, I can't do anything at that point. It's gone. I can't, you know, I can't call a person. I can't find it. I don't have service to track anything. I'm just going to enjoy myself. And with that being said, the point I want to make here, guys, is no matter where you are, no matter how safe you think you are, no matter how cool everybody is and how good the vibes are, make sure to always lock your stuff in your car. Don't expose anything valuable and... Just make sure that your friends are on top of locking your stuff too because you have other people's things in your vehicle and if other people are going in and out not locking the door, your items are susceptible to just easily being taken out of the car and you have no idea the amount of times you're not at the campsite and just, you know, asleep, people roaming, you know, it's very easy for people to just walk up and grab things and people are very, people more often than not leave things out and don't care, drugs, money, you know, because you're like, oh, no one's going to come to my camp. They're all going to the festival. Well, I guarantee you guys, there's people there walking around the festival with that same mindset that people are going to, that no people leave stuff. I've seen people do it. So I started, not even me, somebody, one of my good friends, Marco, who is just really heavy in the New York City scene, now living out in LA, shout out Marco, he started a GoFundMe campaign to just kind of get me back on my feet. The goal is $1,000, and that really is a dollar per subscriber. Uh, if one, if every subscriber donated one dollar, I could meet that goal. And if every subscriber donated five dollars, I could get a new laptop and a new camera and come out with content for you guys on the regular, like I have been doing. Because I am very upset that I lost all these years of footage. That's what also makes me so mad. Is the person that stole what they stole doesn't realize what, like, they don't realize the value they have. Like what they what they have, 
They have years of festival footage, years of me skateboarding my life on video is gone. You know, all the archival footage, all these, all this footage I have of me and my life and my experiences are gone. And that's what I care most about. You can keep my computer. If you're watching this, if you have my bag, you can keep my computer. You can keep my camera. Just give me my hard drives back because I put a lot of work into these videos and into recording and just keeping these memories. It's not work. I mean, it is work, but it's... It's a passion. It's what I do. It's what I enjoy. It's so I, I can look back on these memories forever. And, you know, now it's a blur. Now I can't remember what happened on day zero and day one. Because I can't look back on it like I will be able to do it for day two and day three. I am I do have day two and day three on the camera. Shout out to my boy Chris for hooking me up with 128 gig SD card. Because if he didn't, I would not have been able to record anything. I was able to put two days of footage onto one SD card. And I had enough battery power to pretty much get me through the whole weekend. So I was prepared in that aspect, and it's just really upsetting that I came so prepared and still got fucked over. And, like, me of all people, right? Like, I was so hype. I was getting everybody amped, and, you know, I got done dirty, which is my own mistake. Maybe. I don't know if I locked my car door. I was pretty good about it, and I feel like I would lock my car door. I don't want to blame the homies or anything, but, you know, it's an unfortunate situation, but it's a lesson learned. And I will never leave anything exposed. And I really I really lost trust in the community, guys. Like, this is what I'm talking about. I want to create awareness. And, like, you shouldn't have to worry about someone going through your shit at Lost Lands. And this is another point that I was fearful of, is that year two, this is, this is the number one festival in the world, you know, ranked. Last year, no one knew what it was. Only the real bass heads, the real core dubstep enthusiasts knew what was about to happen and knew how heavy it was going to be and how good it was going to be. Now, there's all this hype and it's attracting the Brads and the Chads and the bros and the first timers and the rookies, which is all good. I met plenty of rookies and I know, I know I helped a lot of you out. You guys told me and I can't thank you guys enough for showing your gratitude and your support. But it's the people that are going with the intentions of drugging people, stealing people's money, robbing people, stealing people's property. Someone stole somebody's car. Are you kidding me? Someone stole a car out of the parking lot of the campsite. Like, how? Why? This bothers me, honestly. Like, honestly, dude, like, I will pay. If anyway, I, I want this to, like, go viral. I want this to be a big deal that someone has my laptop. I hope you're watching the videos and recognize me from the festival because I was, I was out there. And I just really would like that footage back. You can keep the fucking laptop. You can keep the, the you, you can keep everything, bro. Keep my backpacks. Just give me my videos back. Give me my work that I've worked hours and days for. Give it back. That's all I ask. Please. But yes, guys, that is all I have for you guys today. I, you just, just, you know, be aware and know that no matter where you are, no matter how safe you feel, always lock your stuff, secure the bag, and... You know, don't leave anything out in the open because people roam and people know that no one's going to be there for most of the day. So don't get caught slipping and don't be that guy. If you ever get caught stealing from someone's campsite, you are going to get fucked up. Especially Lost Lands, though. You literally ruined my day three until Cookie Monster Back to Back Fun Case. And you're going you, you to watch it. You're going to watch how upset I was talking about it in the vlogs. Honestly, this really fucked me up. Honestly, I'm very upset. I'm going to be out hella money. I'm out hella footage, hella work. I lost all my memories, and I'm really upset about it. And it's 4.45, and I'm just getting to the festival. I literally took like a two-hour depressed nap because I just didn't want to fucking do anything. I was so upset. I just wanted to get this video up and out to let you guys know that there won't be a day zero, a pre-party vlog, and there won't be a day one vlog, unfortunately. But I will be putting up day two and day three as soon as I can. I will also be doing little spin-offs of Lost Lands thing, year compilations, meeting Finesse Gang at Lost Lands, Vlog Lands, the meetup. So I have a lot of cool things planned, and um, a lot of cool things were planned for the off-season, but now that I don't have access to all my videos, I'm going to have a lot of work to do and just you know i gotta i got i'm not letting it push me back you know this is only going up i'm it's it's time for a rebrand you know i'm starting fresh so i'm just trying to keep a positive attitude what can i do about it now i'm pray i'm praying that someone has it and is you know kind enough to at least give me what's that that hard drive is fifty dollars you're not gonna sell it to anybody for fifty dollars you're gonna get 25 bucks for that shit and it's gonna be, why why that that is more valuable to me give that shit back to me and you can keep the cash and i will pay you i will pay somebody to have that hard drive back i will drive to wherever you are and get it from you literally that's how much it means to me
if you have any information on my backpack or my laptop or my camera, my Instagram is always at the end of the video. It's in the description box below. The GoFundMe page will be in the description box below. It'll, it'll allow me to bring more content to you guys faster because I can't do the vlogs off the camera and I can't edit on the fly anywhere I want without my laptop. And I have all my logos and oh my God, I have all my logos and my shirt ideas on there. And all my DJing music, all the stuff I'd be mixing with, it's all gone. But it's okay. It's all good. I'm going to edit day three. I'm going to school. I'm literally going, I graduated school and I'm going back to the editing lab to edit or start editing. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. Keep your eyes out. Keep your ears open. And I will see you guys for the day two vlog coming next. Peace. Can I get a year?